And welcome to another edition of HTFL Football, the hometown football league. I'm Big Polly coming to you, and today we got a, another big game, the next to last game of week one, as the Las Vegas Ironmen, who? Well, we'll explain in a moment. They'll be t uh, traveling to Los Angeles to take on the Rams. <laughs> Just calm September afternoon in Los Angeles as the Iron Man travel to the Rams take on Los Angeles as we were stating in the open. We got John Brody starting at quarterback for the Iron Man, Jim Everett quarterback for the Rams, John Gruden the head coach of Vegas, George Allen the head coach of Los Angeles. Las Vegas I should point out is a combination of all the teams uh, all teams, all the th other 31 cities drew their best 75 players, and Las Vegas is basically the best of who's left. And uh, that's how Las Vegas has been, has been set up. And I think they're going to surprise a few uh, teams as the 16-game season progresses. Uh, the Ironman will be playing out of the slightly in the future Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, just off the strip. But we'll get to that when they play their first home game. Meanwhile, Arnett back to receive the kickoff for Los Angeles. A combination of Rams, Raiders, and Chargers, and maybe a few L.A. Duns thrown in in the AAFC. Rieger tackles him at the 29. We'll set the offense for you for Los Angeles. We have Dickerson, Eric Dickerson, who won the starting job at running back. How deep are the running back staff in Los Angeles? Bo Jackson is the fifth-string running back. Tank Younger is the fullback. Brown and Ellard at wideout. Christensen at tight end. Todd Christensen. Jim Everett at quarterback. Huffman, Wisniewski, Namitz, Putnam, and Slater are your offensive line. We'll go Dickerson dive to start off the game. And it's a nice play. About 28 yards and a first down for the Rams. We'll set the uh, Las Vegas defense for you. Townsend, Biggs, Kennard, that's Bruiser Kennard, and Antwine. Harvey, Nick Bonacani, Addison at linebacker. Asamuga and Dishman are your corners. Dorson and Ray at the safety positions. We'll give it to Tank Younger on a first and ten in Vegas territory. And that's good for seven Holding. yards. Holding. Offense. It's going to get called Number back. 81. Ten-yard penalty. Brown called for Holden. And we'll give it to Dickerson on a pitch. I see a lot of running out of this L.A. team, I think. Three-yard game. So the, this is the Rams team. Uh up until the 90s when they moved to St. Louis, and since they have come back to St. Louis, you might see a few of uh, the, the new L.A. Rams players on. The Raiders, when they played in L.A., the Chargers, when the two times they have played in L.A., 1960 and now the latter part of the 20 teams, and the Los Angeles Dons of the All-American Football Conference, which started right after World War II. So you got a second and 17 at the 50. Still don't want to throw it yet, so we're going to pitch it to Tank Younger. And he's trapped for no gain. Dewerson came up on the tackle. You'll notice that a lot of these Las Vegas players come from the mixed teams, like the Chicago's, the New York's, the San Francisco's, the Los Angeles's. Dewerson's an example of that. The Chicago Bears team in the HTFL is the combination of the Bears and the Cardinals, and Dave Dewerson didn't make the cut, so he's playing for Las Vegas. A third and 17, three wide receivers, one running back. We're going to go shotgun motion. We're going to go long pass to Henry Ellard. Eventually. And that's caught for five yards. Five yards, and that's going to be way short of the four, uh, first down, so it'll be fourth and 12. Punting the ball will be Norm Van Brocklin, who many think should have gotten the starting job. But he was a decent punter in his day. Let's see how he does here. Goes to the sidelines and it's out of bounds at the 13. And 
Las Vegas will start on offense. We will set the offense for you. Tyler, Wendell Tyler, and Colmer are your running backs. Johnson and Donald Driver, your that's Keyshawn Johnson, Donald Driver, your your wide receivers. Ertz at tight end. Brody quarterbacking. Kennard, who we saw on defense, now he'll be playing offense. Hera at guard, Flanagan at center. Scabelli, the other guard, and Ruby, the other defense, offensive tackle. We'll set the defense for Los Angeles for you, and it is a good one after this first 10 play from the 13. <coughs> Ertz with the catch, tackled by Nolan Cromwell for a gain of 11. Let's set the defense for Los Angeles for you. Donald and Jones at defensive ends. That's Deacon Jones. McLaughlin and Merlin Olsen at defensive tackle. Kevin Green, Ritger, Robertson, your linebackers. McDaniel, Irvin, Cromwell, and Rich are the defensive backs. First and ten for the Ironmen at the 24. And Cromwell made a tackle again as Ertz caught another one. Pickup of 16. So your offenses and defenses have been set for you for this game in the lower west division. Let's look at Colmer real fast. He's wearing number 73, and he played for the Brooklyn Dodgers in the AAFC. He's out of uh, Miramont Junior College, and he could play running back and linebacker. Another two-way player. That's why this team's called the Ironman, because you've got a lot of old-style players on this team uh, who can play. They could probably play offense and defense in a lot of cases, too, and play special teams. First and 10 at the 40. Penalty marker down there. Ball start. Offense, number 26. Five-yard penalty. Repeat, first down. Wendell Tyler got called for the penalty, who played for the Rams and the 49ers. Had a few key plays in Super Bowl 19. The Rams beat the Dolphins in that one. And again, I am opening a Coke and not a beer. I guess that's a running joke as I've been doing these videos. First and 15 at the 35 for Las Vegas. And Colmer, who we were just spotlighting, made the catch for 12 yards. Green on the tackle, Kevin Green. Let's look at him real fast. Long flowing hair of Kevin Green, who uh, did try out after his playing days was over as a professional wrestler. He's out of Auburn, 6'3", 247. Eh, he's about the size of a good wrestler. Second and three. And that is Colmer again. Pick up a six yards and a first. I think this Ironman team is really going to surprise a few as this season progresses. But I said that earlier, didn't I? First and ten at the Ram 47. Give to Wendell Tyler for a three-yard gain off tackle right. McDaniel makes the tackle. How about a second and seven from the 44? And that's a long pass caught by Keyshawn. Keyshawn Johnson doing a little stepping after that catch, waving a finger to the Ram goal line and showing that that's a first down. McDaniel brought him down. Pick up a 15 first and 10 at the LA 29. 17-yard pickup as Everett once again finds Ertz. That's the third time that they have combined on a drive. Cromwell brought him down again. First and 10 at the 12. Penalty, though. Ball start. Offense, number 54. Five-yard penalty. Repeat, first down. Flanagan got called for that penalty. And it's now a first and 15 from the 17. Plaxico Burris entering the game. The former New York Giant. He's wearing number 17. Uh, see what the Rams have in store defensively. Incomplete pass. Looking for Burris. Got knocked down. Incomplete. Second and 15 from the 17. Incomplete pass again. Again looking for Ertz. Again Cromwell on the defense. How about a third and 15 play here? Can the Rams hold him the three? Brody scrambles, picks up a couple of yards. Green knocked them down. So that will spot the ball to 15, a fourth and 13 play. They'll kick here. Be from 32 yards out. And the Ironmen get on the board as Stover puts it through. 
So already a surprise as Las Vegas gets on the board first. They'll take a 3-0 lead with 5.39 left in the first quarter. Arnett back to receive the kickoff. Taking it about the 5 out to the 37 for a 42-yard kickoff. Hasty on the tackle. I think L.A. is going to just keep pounding it on the turf. Here's Dickerson, and that's another big pickup for Dickerson, 20 yards. It's 3 for 51. Three carries, 51 yards. Dickerson was second player ever in NFL history to pick up 2,000 yards in the system, O.J. Simpson being the first. He's going to sweep it right here. No gain. Biggs brought him down. So now it's a second and ten. We'll go Christensen, Todd Christensen on a short hitch. Number 46. They can't play him. So a third and ten. Jim Everett out of Purdue. Famously got into a brouhaha with sportscaster Jim Rome, who once called Jim Everett Chris Everett, like after the name of the uh, great female tennis player, who was also known as Chris Everett Lloyd for a stretch. Jim Everett didn't like the uh, comparison. <laughs> he wrestled Jim Rome down to the ground once famously in the mid-90s. We'll go to Crazy Leg Hirsch, Hirsch on a medium slant. Caught? No, he pass did not catch on, but it's pass defense. interference against Number 26, automatic, first Fishman. down. And that's a first down. A first and ten. Again, three, you know, we'll go back to a base formation. Dickerson off tackle right. See if he could pop one. Personal foul, defense. Number 53, automatic, first down. So Las Vegas imploding a little bit. The four-yard run by Dickerson and an, uh, a personal foul. Puts the ball at the 13. We'll go Christensen, and we will try the medium cross for a touchdown. Nope, not there. We'll go Dickerson, pitch right. That's good for four. Chop the distance down a little bit. A third and goal from the nine, third and six from the nine. Double tight end. Motion. We're gonna roll out Everett and throw it to Brown. He said. Hut, hut. Incomplete. But a Connie, Nick Bonacani, got in there to harass Jim Everett. And now, Los Angeles reduced to trying to tie the game. Chris Barr will come on to try a 26-yarder, and that's money in the bank. 2.49 left in the opening frame. It's 3-3. Kaufman, Napoleon Kaufman back for Las Vegas, and that will be a touchback. First and 10 from there at the 20. Keyshawn Johnson over the middle for 11 yards. And again, he does his little gyrations, much to the dismay of the Los Angeles crowd. Although Keyshawn did play his college ball at USC, they are outgaining Los Angeles 93-64 at this juncture. First and 10 at the 31. This time they go to Colmer, number 73, and he catches it for a 13-yard gain. First and 10 at the 44. Wendell Tyler, nothing there. And it's going to be a second and ten with a minute ten left in the quarter. Richter. Unnecessary roughness. Defense. But hold on. Fifteen-yard penalty. Automatic. First down. Richter got in for a sack, but Merle and Olsen unnecessary roughed up somebody. And it's first and ten Las Vegas at the L.A. 41. <laughs> Homer again for nine yards, and that should do it for this first quarter. Your score, Vegas 3, L.A. 3. Okay, folks, second quarter. Big Pauly back at you. John Brody having a very good day so far. 8 of 10 for 104 yards. He's been a catalyst for this Vegas team, a second and one at the 32 of L.A. That's holding offense. Good for number first, 16, but it's come back. 10 yard penalty. Hera 
I called for a holding penalty, and that wiped out a first down, second down, 11. Tyler up the middle on a dive for five yards. Brody just pitched it to him as he was in a shotgun formation. Third down and six. Donald was on the tackle on that last play. Here we go. And Wendell Tyler finds Pater. Touchdown. Vegas. Screen pass. Goes for a big for a big play. Here's the point after by Barr. And that gives LA, LA a 10-3 deficit. Vegas, the first team to pick up a touchdown in this game. Brody playing uh, red hot ball right now. 9 of 11, 141 yards and a touchdown. Everett really hasn't worked up a sweat yet. Arnett will return this one. Two yards deep from his end zone. And it's out to the 29. Pick up the 31. They'll again go Dickerson, pitch right. Pick up of one yard, really sensing uh, when Dickerson's going to get the ball. Addison on the tackle. We'll go Tank Younger, trap right. That's good for five. Dewerson came up, made the stick. Third down and four will go Ellard, short slant. Not there. So Lynch. Got in there. That's Dick Lynch, not John Lynch. He played for the New York Giants back in the late 50s, early 60s. Went on and became a uh, radio commentator for the Giants, if I am not mistaken, with Marty Glickman. Anyway, fourth down and four. L.A. will punt the ball. Here's Ben Brocklin. And spun down by Youngblood after Young caught it for a eight-yard game, and that Gets Las Vegas the ball at the 24, a first and 10. Holding. Offense. Number 60. 10 yard nice penalty. Play by Ertz, who lateraled it to Tyler for a gain of 22, the old hook and ladder play. John Brody ought to know that play. He saw that calling um, the Miami San Diego game with NBC in 1982, the famous uh, The Game which uh, San Diego prevailed 41 to 38. He was a color commentator for many years with NBC, called that game, and uh, also did uh, also was a professional golfer for a stretch in the 80s. Anyway, first and 20 at the 14. And that's caught. Driver, Donald Driver, with a pickup of 22, so they get it all back in one shoot. First and 10 at the 36. And again, completed to Ertz. Cromwell on the tackle. John Brody, red hot. 11 for 13 for 70, 176. We'll look at him. He's out of Stanford. And like I said, he went on became a uh, color commentator for many years. Did a few Super Bowls with NBC, if I'm not mistaken, but was very prominent until he retired uh, from commentating. A first and 10, ball to 49. Hot! This time they were looking for Keyshawn, incomplete. Rich batted it up. That is, we'll take a look at Rich. Herb Rich from Vanderbilt. Played for the Rams back in the day. A second and 10 at the 49. Hut, hut. They were looking for Wender Tyler on that play, incomplete. But Ritker was there. Third and 10 from the 49 of Vegas. And a first down, Ertz. The target, once again, he's at five catches on the day for 70 yards. Cromwell having a very busy day just keeping up with him. He's tackled him again after the 13-yard pickup. First and 10 at the 38 has Las Vegas. And that's a play to the left. Tyler Irvin brought him down after a gain of four. Second and six at the 34. A third and three, after a three-yard gain by Tyler. Vegas wins this. This is going to be a wide-open lower west division that anybody could win. Here's the third down play. Dropped. 
Brody threw it right at the numbers to Donald Driver, but he bobbled the ball. That'll bring the kick team out. Barr will try a 48-yarder. No good. No good. That breathes new life into Los Angeles. They will go trap right with Tank Younger instead of Dickerson for a change. And that's a nice gain, four yards. Addison is hurt. He looks like he injured his groin, the outside linebacker, but he will stay in the game. Midway point of the, th of the second quarter now. Dickerson, sweep to the right. And that's a very nice gain for Dickerson again. 26 yards. We will go to Todd Gurley to spell him for a few plays. Gurley, of course, just left the Rams and headed to the Atlanta Falcons to give them a little punch to their running game. We'll go to him on a trap right. A pickup of two. Dickerson back in. Pitch to the right. With a marker Ball down. Ball start. Offense. Number 22. Five-yard penalty. Now Repeat. Let's... Second down. Got that called for the hold. Or a false start. He's the one wearing number 22. Let's look at him real fast. He's out of Boston College and played on the Rams in the late 40s. Hence the unusual number. He will go three wide. Uh... Motion play, medium pass to Christensen. That's batted down by Townsend. And complete. Now a third and 13 from the 35. So what do you do if you are Los Angeles? We will go medium pass to Crazy Legs. It's in number 40, and it's good for a first down. Elroy Crazy Legs Hirsch out of Wisconsin. Played on those very prolific teams of the early 50s that were NFL championship contenders and could point a lot of points on the board. We'll go Dickerson off tackle right, and this should break very nicely for the Rams. A pickup of three. Bigs on the tackle. Second and seven at the Ironman 18-yard line. Medium hitch, Jad Christensen. Another color commentator of days of old, and that's a touchdown. And fifth fans Christensen, and we're a point away from a tie game. In fact, here is that point in question, and it's just barely good. It was Chris Barr who made it, and it's 10 to 10. Stover is the kicker for uh, Las Vegas. I accidentally referred to him, uh, Chris Barr, kicking for Las Vegas. He's kicking for Los Angeles, so I apologize for the error. 4:30 left till halftime. Kaufman back for the Ra uh, for the Ironmen. See, I nearly called them the Raiders. They are sporting the Raider u Raider uniforms. John Gruden is their coach, but they're called the Ironmen. First and 10. Ball with 20. Driver with a 21-yard gain off of medium cross thrown by Brody. And it's first and 10 at the 41. Another big passing play, and that's good for 49. Driver again, all the way down to the 10. So the Ironman very quickly answering the bell here for a, with a first and goal from there. Incomplete. Brody looking for Ertz again, and Ertz has had a very busy day. Five, ca uh, five catches for 70. Driver is now up to three catches for 92 yards. And Brody having a very big day uh, calling the signals. 14 to 20 for 259. Second and goal. Wendell Tyler, touchdown. And the Ironman back with the lead. Here's the point after by, Bo by Stover. See, I nearly did it again. Stover with the extra point, and it's good. And the Ironman now up 17-10 on the Rams. And back we go to the Rams getting the ball. Iron net back deep. He'll take it at about the five. A nice game of 39 yards. You would think the Rams' strength 
would be the running game, and they have gained some nice yardage on the ground, 13 carries for 100 yards as a team, but they have not been able to keep the uh, the uh, Iron Man at bay. John, Bro John Brody having an excellent game so far. Off tackle right, Tank Younger. A fumble, and the Iron Men have it. Antoine pounced on it after Addison ripped it open. So with 2.20 left, the Iron Men go back to work a first and ten from midfield. Ah, but on the very next play, Tyler swept to the right. Robertson stripped the ball out. Rich recovered the fumble, and L.A.'s got it back. We're going to go play action, long pass to Henry Ellard. Try to break up the monotony a little bit. Illegal motion. Offense, number 29, five-yard penalty. Illegal motion penalty against Eric Dickerson. That's the two-minute warning. 17-10, Las Vegas. Okay, coming back to the game. Pitch right, Eric Dickerson on a first and 15. What? No game. They will go no huddle. They'll go to Ellard on a medium out. Good. First down. And he got out of bounds to stop the clock. Nicely done. Rams still have all their three timeouts left, as does the Las Vegas. We're going to go screen to Tank Younger. Pickup of 17 and a first down for the Rams. And they will call their first timeout. With 121 to go. Dickerson pitch to the right. Well, he wants to play to their strengths, but this time Addison is there for uh, make sure that he loses four yards. They'll go no huddle. Dickerson make that Christensen on the medium out. Not there. Offsides. Defense. Number 93. Five-yard penalty. Take the penalty. Make it second down and nine. Ellard. Medium hitch. Touchdown. Henry Ellard. And I think we go with the Los Angeles scoring again. Point after attempt. Barr puts it through. 17 to 17. We're going to kick it at an angle, try to avoid giving it to Coughlin. But he gets it anyway. A pickup of 20, uh, 14 before Elmendorf could get to him. Las Vegas has all three of their timeouts left. 41 seconds to go, a first and 10. Incomplete. Keyshawn could not come up with that one. Rich on the defense for LA. 35 seconds left to play, second and 10. Incomplete. So that's going to bring up a third and ten. No gain. Wendell Tyler tried to draw play up the middle. L.A. will call time. And I have one timeout left for the last push before halftime for them. Here's the punt. Ray Guy to Brown. And he picks up a couple before he is tackled. So we're at a 17 all tie. We're going to go Brown, Timmy Brown on a medium out. And a good catch. 13 seconds left. And we're going to have to burn the last time out because he did not get out of bounds. In action PC with that much time left, you could throw a Hail Mary. So I think that's what Everett is going to do here. Just throw it up and hope for the best. Okay, can't throw a Hail Mary from our own 41. We're just going to throw a bomb. We're just going to throw the bomb. It's a crazy legs. Dumps it underneath, but that's gonna, not going to be... And he caught it in bounds, so there's nothing to do but not run a play. Four seconds left. That wouldn't be a time to start another play. So after 30, we're dead even, 17 all. 
We welcome you back to the start of this second half of this next to last game of week one in hometown football league action. I'm Big Polly coming to you. We're at the Memorial Coliseum in LA for this game between the Ironmen and the Rams, the Las Vegas Ironmen, a team put together of vagabonds from the other 31 teams, players that did not make the cut on those teams, and they're holding up very, very well. It's a dead-even game, 17-all between them and the Rams. They get the ball to start the second half, Kaufman back for the Ironman. And it'll be a touchback. Ball will be brought out to the 20. A first and 10. From there. Wendell Tyler on the catch. Pick up of six. Ritker shoved the out. Let's take a look at Richter. The Richter scale. He's a center linebacker out of California. Played on the Rams in the late 50s. Probably better known for being a defensive player than anything. Okay, second and four. That is Colmer up the middle for three. And Dave Parks is going to come into the game at tight end. The second tight end uh, for the Ironman to back up Ertz. A third and one. I'm going to guess that the... Um, Ironmen are going to run the ball here with Wendell Tyler, and they do, and it's a first. Rich made the wipeout at the 35, gain of six. First and ten at the 35. Tyler again. It's his tenth carry of the day. Four-yard gain to get him up to 40 yards rushing. He has two catches out of the backfield for 43 yards, including a touchdown. Second and six at the 39. This time they give it to Colmer, no gain. Robertson made a tackle. About a third and six. Can the Rams get a stop? They can. They were going to Ertz again, but Nolan Cromwell helped provide good coverage. Number 21 for the Rams. They'll get it on a punt here, and barring a turnover. Flanagan makes the tackle on Brown after a one-yard loss. So L.A. will start at the 14, a first and 10 from there. 11-19 left in the third quarter. Here's Dickerson off tackle right. Now, I coached the home teams in, in, this, in this series, and I tend to like to run the ball in the middle. I don't usually like to run it outside unless you got a very good runner. In this case, you do with Dickerson. We're going to go to him on a pitch right here. That's a nice game. Problem with the outside runs is in action PC football, it's high risk, high reward. Yes, you could get a very nice game, but you could also get trapped for a good five yard loss if you're not careful. Third and inches will go double tight end. And no surprise here, we're going to go to Dickerson. And he gets it. But wait a minute, the previous fumble. play is under review. Upon further review, the runner was down by contact. Okay, so LA used their challenge. No, there was a boof review. I apologize. That was a boof review. In HDFL play, each team gets one challenge, but all turnovers or potential turnovers and potential scores are looked at, at the, by the boof. They ruled Dickerson did get the first down before he fumbled, but the ground caused the fumble. Not anything that a, an Ironman tackler did. In this, in this instance, Biggs. So LA will keep the ball, first and 10 at the 25. I'm going to give it to Younger, pitch right. <coughs> Fullback, Younger with a nice gain of 11 yards. Let's look at Tank Younger, in Rambling State. Played on the Rams in the early 50s. So it's a first and ten from there. Pitch right, Dickerson. That's another nice pickup. Eight yards. He's got 100 yards carrying the ball today. 104 to be precise on 15 carries. Younger. We're going to go sweep left. That's another nice game. 13 yards. So they're getting success running the ball. Because they've been in a double tight end formation these last few plays. We're just going to stay with the, stay with it. Uh, 
Stay with the hot shooters here. Dickerson off tackle right. And another nice gain, 10 yards. So they're moving the ball very nicely on the ground now. Down in that rock will go trap right, Tank Younger. And that time Antoine was there to stop him for no gain. So finally the uh, L L Las Vegas offense gets catches wise to what was going on. We're going to go Tom Fears on a short hitch. Hut, hut. And he has no fear. Ten yard gain, but it's just short of the first. We're going to go younger over the middle on a dive. Good for a first down. So, L.A. now 25 carries, 158 yards as a team. 6.3 yards every time they run the ball. So we're just going to keep it going. Pitch to the right, tank younger. Gain of four, Biggs with the tackle. And it's going to be second and six at the 16. Halftime break was brought to me by M&M's and Coca-Cola, by the way. We're going to go trap right, tank younger. Just keep the ball on the ground until they really stop us. And that's a pickup of eight yards. Good for the first. So they're really having success just pounding it. Sleep, uh, sweep left to Dickerson. And he's back to the line, and that's all. Nick Modicani made the tackle. Back to Younger. Or actually, what I think we will do is go play action short pass. Play action short pass to Todd Christensen. He's got one grab for a touchdown on the day. Now he's got another. Very nice drive for L.A. to give them the lead. That was 18 plays for four, 86 yards. 14 plays, 86 yards, 8.57 off the clock. Here's the extra point. It's good. Barr puts it through. 24-17 Rams. Kaufman back for Vegas. They don't hit the jackpot on that, but a nice return nonetheless of 30 yards. First and 10 from there. The Actually, it's going to be at the Vegas 29. Penalty. Illegal motion. Offense. Number 80. Five-yard penalty. Donald Driver. Called for illegal motion. First and 15. Hut. In the round to Keyshawn. Gains 11 yards. Robertson on the tackle for the Rams. Second and four. Hut, hut. Homer, three-yard game. Johnson of the Rams injured. Trying to see where that puts the lineup. Can't really say. Johnson, who was injured, it could have been Johnson on the Ram, uh, the Ironman too. Okay, third and one. Enough speculating. Hot. <laughs> Tyler shops sort of short of the first down marker, and that's going to end the third quarter. McLaughlin brought him down, so that was a key stop there for the Rams. Will Vegas try a fake punt here? Because what happens in state if Vegas stays in Vegas? Uh, Rams will just let it roll. It should go inside the ten, and it lands at the nine. L.A. going to keep playing that double tight end front, uh, formation until they get stopped. Here's Dickerson off tackle. Pick up of four. He's now up to 118 on the day. Tank Younger having a good day, too. Ten carries, 54 yards. This is a 1970s style box score where you got two, two uh, running backs in the game for a team, and they both each have touched the ball ten times. Younger picks up two. Vernon Biggs picks up his tenth. Verlon Biggs picks up his tenth tackle. We should spotlight him real fast. Out of Jackson State, played for the New York Jets back in the day. Okay, third and four at the fifteen. We're gonna screen pass it out to Younger. And that's good for a first. Harvey on the stop. Gain of eight. Back to
to tank younger on a trap left. It's a four yard kick. How about Dickerson pitch left? How about four more yards? LA just wants to chew up some clock here. Dive over the middle with Dickerson. And he's got the first. That's eight more. He's up to 130 on the day and 20 carries. We'll go younger off tackle, right? <laughs> Trying to chew up the clock. Offense. But a holding number call. 78, 10 yard change penalty. That strategy. 10 20 to go. We'll go Dickerson off tackle, right? For our first down play, anyway. That's a very nice game for Dickerson. 17 more. Before Ray brought him down, that is Daryl Ray, who used to play for the Jets back in the early 80s. So it's a first, uh, no, second and three at the 46. How about Tank Younger, trap right? Loss of a yard. Okay. Four wide receivers, man in motion. We're going to go short pass, and we're going to go Henry Ellard. <coughs> And that's incomplete. A punt now for Los Angeles. Van Brocklin will kick. And fair caught by Young at the 13. So Vegas now needs a touchdown to draw even with 8.48 left to go in regulation time. It's 24-17. They have a first and 10 at the th their own 13. Over the middle, caught by Ertz. Ertz now with six catches, 85 yards. Cromwell on the tackle. Cromwell has been all over Ertz like a bad cold. First and 10 at the 28. Ertz again. Cromwell again on the tackle. A gain of 14. First and 10 from the 42. Colmer, no gain. Ritger was there to spin him down. Second and 10. Pitch to the right to Tyler. No gain. Now a third and ten. 631 to go. Upon further review, the runner reached the first down marker. First Brody down. It no Ertz. time out will be charged. It appeared first blush that Ertz did not make the first down, but he did. So that's a first down for Vegas. At the, we'll sort it out in a moment. John Brody now at 304 yards passing today. And Garner going to go into the game at running back. And Carol Dale going to go in at wide receiver, the former Green Bay Packer. First and 10 at the Ram, 48. And he's tackled. Brody is sacked by Donald. Actually, it was Brody deflected off of Ronald. The pass went right back to Brody. So it was Brody to Brody, and he loses three. Very rare play, but you do see it every once in a while. Four wide receivers in the game for Las Vegas. A second and 13 at their own 49. Garner, first down, and a lot more. How about a touchdown? Charlie Garner. So now the uh, Ironmen a point away from tying this baby up. Do they get it? They do. Stover puts it through. And with five minutes exactly left in regulation time, it is 24 to 24. Arnett back for L.A. And he will not take any chances. They'll bring it out to the 20. Dickerson off tackle right. Good for six yards. He's over 150 on the day. He's at 153. He's having a very good day. And I think despite the time situation and 450 left, they're just going to let as much clock run off as possible. Dickerson with another first down, 9 yards. He's up to 162 now. We'll go younger pitch right. That's a very big run for younger. Bruiser Kennard. Will not return. Coke will enter the game, I believe, for 
uh, Vegas. He played for the Giants back in the war era, World War II era. He's wearing number one. He won't be hard to spawn, I guess, suppose. Pitch right to Dickerson. Just keep down in the rock. No yardage. 24-24 tie. And we will go younger. Sweep left. Vegas calls timeout at 2.39 to go. Dickerson, sweep left. A gain of three yards. And that'll force them out of bounds with 2.30 to go. Third and seven from the 40. Fears, short hitch. Incomplete. Okay, 2.24 left. I think LA will want to pin Vegas deep. Ben Brocklin will try a little sideline pun action. A touchback. A touchback. So that didn't work out too well for Los Angeles. So Vegas and uh, the dream situation. 218 left. A 24 all tie. They'll begin from the 20. Hut, hut. Brody looking for his favorite target. Zach Ertz. Incomplete. Ritger tipped it. Ertz now 8 for 109 on the day. That's 8 catches, 109 yards. Second and 10. Tyler pitches it to the right side. Gain of 10. And he gets it. Gets the first down. And LA is gonna, Las Vegas is going to stop the clock before the 2-minute warning. They have one timeout left. Kind of wonder if that was a wise decision there. But anyway, first and 10 from the 30. Tyler again, two-yard gain, and playing it close to the vest. Second and eight, ball to 32. Now Brody will throw it to Tyler again, picks up five yards. Third and three at the 37. Incomplete, so Vegas is going to give it up. And barring a turnover, L.A. should have the final say in regulation time. This ball's going to land inside the 20. We will return it. <laughs> And a nice return for Brown out to the 33. One twenty-nine left in regulation time. If we go overtime, it's strictly sudden death. Uh, the old school overtime system that the NFL employed up until from 1974 to 2010 in the regular season. Medium out to Tim Brown. We dump it off to Dickerson, and he picks up nine. Got out of bounds to stop the clock. They have all three timeouts left at a minute 23 to go. Short pass to Tank Younger. Not there. So I think L.A. will just want to get the first trap left Dickerson. And it's just barely there. Pick up with three yards. They'll go no huddle. Dick, uh, Christensen medium out. But Biggs, Verlon Biggs on the sack. Of seven, and now for sure, LA will burn a timeout. Second and 17 from the 38. Dickerson, screen pass. So don't see that coming. That's a gain of 14. LA will burn another timeout with 50 seconds to go. We'll go three red receivers, Christensen. Medium slant. And it's caught. And it moves it out to the 33. They'll go hurry up. Medium out to Henry Ellard. Not there. 24 seconds to go. It's a makeable field goal from here. No, actually, I wouldn't say makeable because it's 50 yards away. We'll go Hirsch. Short out. Incomplete. I'm going to go Dickerson on a draw. And he gets eight. And stops it with eight seconds. We're going to call timeout at three seconds. And this is your ball game, folks. Ball will be uh, placed at the 25. It'll be a 42-yard field goal for Chris Barr. If he gets it, L.A. wins. If he does not get it, we will very likely have overtime. 
Encroachment, defense, five yard penalty. Good news for LA as Townsend was offside, so they will try again. Barr has a 68% chance of making this. If he makes it, the Rams win. If the Ironmen uh, dodged a bullet, we should go to OT for the game. Good. LA wins. 27 to 24. And there's your scoring summary. Back and forth game. Vegas gave him a hell of a run. Uh, as you can see there. Vegas threw for 357. But Los Angeles ran it 42 times for 259. They did very well on the ground in the uh, second half, namely the late third and early fourth quarter. So that was your game, L.A. 27, Vegas 24. We have one more game left for you this opening week of the season. That will be New York and New England, a Monday night game. And then we start week two, Chicago at Pittsburgh. San Francisco at New England. Kansas City and Baltimore we will do, but I will not be doing commentary on it. It will just be a, uh, uh, a game that will kind of be automated. We're going to do these games, but we're not going to uh, do commentary on them. I will just be coaching the home team, which in this case will be Baltimore, and just go from there. Tampa Bay at Carolina play in Week 2. Arizona, Miami. Detroit, Washington. Whenever we have two losing teams together, I will just coach and have the uh, AI announcer, Ray Curtis, call the action. St. Louis, Jacksonville, Buffalo, Dallas, Green Bay, and Houston's another game that will be automated. Um, Cincinnati and Indianapolis, New York and Tennessee, Minnesota, New Orleans, Atlanta and Vegas, Los Angeles and Philadelphia. So those are the games ahead in week two. Like I said, New York, New England should be a very big game uh, to end up week one. A lot of people think that New York and New England have both have what it takes to win the championship in this league. We'll see about that as the season progresses. So I hope you enjoyed today's game. Once again, the final, Los Angeles 27, Las Vegas 24. I'll catch you all again real soon. Bye-bye for now, everybody.